What's going on everybody? So today I'm gonna to give you guys a tour of this Anna Maria bonus model here over here in Claremont. So this model is really a single story floor plan, four bedrooms, three and a half bath standard. However, this model here shown has a fifth bedroom plus a huge bonus room that I think you guys are gonna absolutely love. So I'm gonna take you guys around, show you basically some of the upgrades and options that were selected in this floor plan here and give you guys my thoughts. So before we go in there, I gotta remind you guys to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram so you guys get sneak peeks of these homes here. But without further ado, let's go ahead and just take a tour of this Anna Maria bonus model here. So starting in the front here, one of the first things you notice about this home is that it has a huge presence. You think it's a two story home, but it's really just a single story home as you guys will see. So this would typically be your two car garage. You're obviously using this as a sales office as of right now, but that would be your two car garage. And then we'll make our way inside here. This elevation here offers you this nice front porch. And I do like the front porch. It is covered. I love how they have the brick design halfway up through these columns and of course gotta love the brick paved driveway over here as well too so let's make our way in i love the frosted glass door we do have looks like eight feet doors here so very nice touch now as soon as we make our way here i love this tray that they've added here into the foyer it gives it a nice volume and definition to the whole hallway let me show you guys this whole entire space there so yeah let me know what you guys think about this entrance over here if you're thinking about doing glass this would be a good option if you to for the frosted gloss uh glass option so you can't really see in and out but you could see shadows but yeah just keep that in mind so now as soon as you enter over here to the right we have two bedrooms so i'll quickly show you guys that so these are pretty good uh, space uh, spacious bedrooms we have nine feet four inch ceilings all throughout the downstairs. This room here has a standard size closet, right, with the bifolds. And then there's a bathroom right over here that these two bedrooms will share. And I love the quartz countertop upgrade that they did here with the cabinets, even this gray hex hexagonal design. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, tile. So, and of course I love the subway tile turn this way. That's a different touch. Very nice bathroom in my opinion, design wise. I give this a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think. Over on this side, this bedroom is pretty spacious as well. Periodic table. So there's no argument in the in terms of, I guess, bedroom sizes. And of course, check the link in the description I'll have more information about the floor plan as well as dimensions and all that stuff about this room here. So, but yep, downstairs bedrooms right in the corner over here, bathroom shared right as soon as you enter here. Now let's make our way down. You'll notice the stairs over here that'll lead to the bonus. We'll go to that last. And then we've got your whole entire kitchen living space over here. Let me just show you guys this corner here really quick. Over here, we, there is a half bath. However, you could convert this here into a full bathroom, which I would probably recommend that you do because keep in mind, if you're using this room here as an actual bedroom, then if this person wanted to take a shower, they would have to go all the way to the bathroom across the hallway over there. So just keep that in mind. But if you're gonna use this as maybe an office space, you may not need that third bedroom uh, bathroom there. But resale wise, I would say go ahead and just do the third bathroom over there. So depending on where you're buying this floor plan as well too, that could determine whatever options you have. So like for instance, in Lake Nona, this floor plan is $113,000 more. So if you ask me and clear my hair, it's a bargain. So now we'll make our way to the kitchen here, which has a nice layout, huge size island We've got four chairs that fits right here. You could definitely probably fit maybe one or two more on the end over here. So definitely love this size of the island. We've got a gourmet kitchen upgrade over here with the double ovens, nice shaker style cabinets with the crown molding, vented hood outside. I love the tile work that they added to the backsplash and they even added all the way to the top across the vented hood. You've got your glass cabinets that is obviously just for design, but looks really nice. Nice glass cooktop over here. We even have some 
drawers added here, really nice. And let me know what you guys think about the gold hardware. I actually must say it looks really nice in this kitchen here. So we've also got your farmer's sink over here. Very nice black faucet, very nice design theme in my opinion. And yeah, let me show you guys the wood looking tile is definitely nice as well too. Matches everything perfectly in my opinion. We've also got some nice pendant lights over there. And check this out, frosted glass door for the pantry. Very nice, you can't see the mess that's inside of there. Although, see, you wouldn't even guess it. You would not even guess it, but good size pantry. Good size pantry. Very nice kitchen, right? You guys gotta say. Love the built-ins over the refrigerator as well too. It just really just completes the, the kitchen in my opinion. So I definitely recommend that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this kitchen overall. It also opens out right here to the formal dining. So, right? This is very comparable to that other model, the Glades model that I've recently showed, which, which is around 2,000 square feet, right? This one here, we're right around uh, 2,600 square feet with the bonus space. So this is without the uh, bonus space here, you're right around 2,200 square feet. So even so, I feel like with even without the bonus space, this is pretty much adequate space for a lot of folks. But. Let me know what you guys think. I love how they have the design on this, on the walls, right? The little trim, that's the interior decorator option, but very nice. Now keep in mind, this home here has about $100,000 worth of design and structural upgrades. So just, just to keep that in mind, right? Depending on wherever you're buying this floor plan, the base price starts at different price points. Over here in Claremont with this bonus option, you're looking at around 565,000 starting price. That's not including your lot. So, or any other designs or structural upgrades. So if you wanted to make that your home, basically similar to this, you're putting at a hundred thousand on top of the 565s here. You're in the mid 600s around here, Claremont and put it this way in Lake Nona, you're about $113,000 more. There are locations where you can actually get this floor plan cheaper though. So if you do like the floor plan, definitely reach out to us. We can help you, I guess, uh, find it in a more suitable budget, but Backyard space, you definitely have enough space to put a pool. I'll show you guys what the space is looking like with the side here. Uh, these are 50 by 120 feet wide uh, lots, 50 wide by 120 long, right? So, but yeah, you could definitely fit a pool if that's something you wanted to do. Uh, I'm definitely gonna show you guys this, this Avalon bonus model here as well too. So subscribe and hit the notification bell so you guys can see that when I released it. Anyways, make our way back into the room here. To the right, we've got your master corner. Before we hit the master though, here's your laundry. It is a spacious laundry. Good enough for these cabinets, sink and everything. Placement wise, it's perfect that it's right off the master. Your air handler is right here. So, now into the master, primary, sorry. Pretty decent size. There is options to add a tray ceiling in the master, the primary if you'd like to. So I love the fact that you can still have a sitting area plus a good size bed and even these side tables as well. Now we've got a walk-in closet over here. Now I know what you're saying. If this is the only closet, then this is way too small, but this is not the only closet. This is just a her closet. So there is another closet that's inside of the bathroom, which we'll go ahead and head there now. And I love how this design for the bathroom is where they have this little sitting area here. However, how many people really use that? But yeah, lovely design in here. Good space. There is an option to add a, a tub if you wanted. You've got your water closet. If you do add the tub, you lose this linen closet over here. And this closet would be smaller, but yeah, this is your other walk-in closet over here. You guys could fight over who gets what, but lovely shower here. You have options to add a rain head. I love the design they've chosen in here. Let me know what you guys think. I love the window letting in the natural light inside of the shower here, so. 
But yeah, very nice master uh, primary bedroom, in my opinion. That's pretty much the downstairs. There is basically now, this that's what I'm saying, this is basically a single story floor plan. That's all the living space, basically. And then as we make our way over here to these stairs, there's another section upstairs. So let's go check that out. I love the railings, the iron rod railings that they've selected. And of course, the flooring option in this home. This is a really good option if in case you guys are thinking or looking for option ideas. So sorry about the lighting. It's about to rain as it always is in Florida here, but yeah, so I apologize if the lighting is a little off, but here we are in the upstairs bonus room. This is like a 19 by 25 feet room. Check the link in the description for dimensions, but huge room for an entire band as they have it here. So, but yeah, look at the size of the space over here. And there's uh, basically there's a fifth bedroom over there, but there's an option to add another bedroom on the side of this as well too. So see, you can even extend it out even more up here. So if you wanted two bedrooms upstairs here and they both have their own bathroom, that is an option with this floor plan. So if you got, I guess, two older kids that want their own separate space and you don't want them downstairs, this would be perfect. So. This is the size of the bedroom as well too. So you can have another one of these on the other side of this bonus room over here. Here's the bathroom. And of course this bathroom is connected to the bonus room right there. And then this room has a walk-in closet. I believe the other one would have a walk-in closet as well. So really good size room, the Paris theme room. Bonjour, bonjour mademoiselle. But yes, I took French in high school, believe it or not. But yes, but look at that. Let me know what you guys think about this space. I really, really like this floor plan. It checks a lot of boxes for a lot of folks, whether you're older or younger, it doesn't matter. The floor plan basically suits your needs no matter how old you get you can definitely use this for whether you have a large family a small family it just if you're entertaining or whatnot so this is perfect so let me know what you guys think i love this floor plan remember it's over here in claremont but you can build this in many locations across central florida as a matter of fact lake nona being one of them it's over in the bar it's obviously more expensive over there but but yeah depending on where you're looking this could be a good option for you don't forget to reach out to my team. We would love to help you guys basically narrow down the locations and the options for you guys. So, but yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a blessed day. Peace.